Hello everyone, Duke here with part four of this Jutes campaign, uh, Total War Attila. And we are picking up from a kind of a dramatic recovery uh, from the episode before last, uh, where we managed to repel the Danes from their attempted retaking of Hafen. And the main issue now is getting stability in the region again, uh, encouraging growth. The Danes are now uh, somewhat thematically uh, <laughs> isolated now as just a sea-based nation, as far as I can see. Yes, the Danes are over here, far from the uh, huge power they were only a few turns ago. Uh, I'm not complaining. It's nice to see the backs of them. And we have emerged as the dominant Danish power, or Viking power, uh, in Skansa, but that doesn't mean the Geeks are dead. Oh no, they are actually doing very well in their new home in Britannia, but we have peace with them, so we should hopefully not be seeing them for a long time. I'd quite happily not. Uh, I suppose the last thing to do is maybe hunt down the Danish fleet before we can move over to this uh, region here and settle. So in fact, actually, if we sort of move to head them off there, that might be better because um, if these guys can sell over there and settle, that's going to be a real pain. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll try and preemptively um, predict that. Uh, we've got a few buildings getting built here, which is good. Uh, our capital, Hrefnus Holt, uh, will soon be upgrading to a small city, which is good, uh, which means more money. And I would like to get this lot to make uh, timber. So, other than that, we need to recover this army. We're rebuilding it. We need to get some more cavalry in it, maybe and one more infantry unit, I think. Uh, we'll be good to go. So, and we're researching away. What we're researching? Roman logistics system. Hmm. Yep. So, we Vikings are taking on the Romans. Well, the Romans never done for us. Bought us a logistics system. 5% ammunition, but it's all in service to getting military maneuvers, which I think would be quite a good upgrade. And if we get everything here, uh, recruitment costs 5% less. It's something. And, oh, I think actually getting an, oh, a Nordic Brigade. What are Nordic Brigades like? So how it works in this game, unlike, say, Rome 2, or most actually Total War games, is the more technology you research, you can upgrade old units to better ones. Uh, it's permanent, so you can't go back to the old ones. And you have to be careful, because often the new ones, even though they're better, have a lot more upkeep. But sometimes it's well worth it when the one that you have at present is pants. What will the Jude rest new? I don't know. That looks Roman to me. Uh, but anyway, we're here to see um, Nordic Brigade. Um, yeah, we've got missiles. Two. Very strong missiles. Well, who knows? They're probably better than their current version, the Nordic bands. Uh, those are rubbish. I have absolutely no desire to hire any guys. Okay, so I don't think it's too much more to do this time. We could try doing a bit more trade, I suppose. Um, but who who amongst them <laughs> was the trade? Should we try Gatulians again? Master extends the do we have any money to offer them? need the trade. We don't need it, but it, it's so helpful at yeah, giving us passive income. So I'm going to try and get it if I can. Uh, right, I'm going to end the turn. I don't think there's too much more to do here. So I've got to start thinking eventually about where we're going to expand next. Uh, if the Huns do emerge and start eating away at some of the Burgundian land, if they do reach that far north, that would be massively helpful. But we can't count on that because it's not exactly in their main war path. And they've got three good armies here already. But I have noticed that they don't have a city. They've only got towns. And cities help you unlock arguably the best units in in most rosters. I think I'm right in saying, in my experience so far in this game. I feel like cities help you get better ones. Because cities have unique buildings. As in certain building chains are only available in cities. And those unique building chains often have uh, good units. So, we could attack the Burgundians, but we'd have to do so with great care. Or we could head east. 
Oh, Danes didn't move. I think this was a good move by us because they truly don't know what to do. Uh, let's get you leveled up a bit. Um, hmm, what's good for you? Is there one that increases naval movement? Eh, let's go for the spoiler. Unless I find there's way less stuff you need as a admiral in terms of skills. Oh, look at that! Speak of the devil, and he will appear. Burgundians and the Huns are at war. What did I just? What was I just talking about? That's crazy. So, yeah, look at that. You can see some desolate town. I think these don't. I think these start settled. So it could be that the Huns are coming this way. That would be fantastic if they could give them a bloody nose. Uh, we've got our city built. That's fantastic. Um, well, our city grow is ever stronger. Um, we can imagine that even though this is our capital, we've probably put our seat of power here in Kreftus Holt. It makes far more sense. And we've got a lifestyle card. So we've got a bit more money in, in coming in each turn. I think we should try and perhaps take out the Danes here. It'd be good to do ourselves. The only thing is we can't let them get too close, we can't let them... Um, okay, they don't look too strong. Uh, basically, you know, these are fantastic at destroying ships, but if they close in and board us, which they probably won't be able to do, except for this unit, because these are archers, um, once they're boarded, they're pants, they can't defend themselves, which makes sense. They're only artillery crews. So, let's see if we can finish off the Danes here. If not, it's not going to be humiliating. Well, it could be a bit humiliating, because you're all here to see it. But, um, it's, it, this isn't high stakes. But I would like to end the Danes here. I think all we have to do is kill the general. But uh, I've seen the AI survive crazier defeats. So, keep the general nice and safe. Okay, how far can we see? We see quite, quite far. And, yeah, we've got the flannel shot. Nice clear scene. <laughs> a true Viking vessel, if ever I saw one. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Right. Yeah, come on. I think if we can destroy this ship, our worries will be over. It's on fire. Oh, whales. Don't hit the whales, guys. Watch out. Yeah, this ship's really on fire. I think they're in trouble. Now we've got to survive another volley. This is the best way to take out ships. Artillery. No doubt. There we go. Look at it. Go. Yeah. Get out of it. I'm just going to let them fire, we're going to continue. Oh, that's something quick. To the dick, sir. Okay. Yeah, it will be kind of fun to join him and shoot him. Oh, there's a barrage ability which lets you fire faster, but it comes with a fatigue thing. But I find it best to do because. Battles in this game are quite quick, I think I said before, so it's not like the battle goes on for long enough or that fatigue thing comes back to haunt you. Enemy are losing their advantage. Oh, we're done. This is good. I think we got fired a little bit ahead of them. Like that. Wait. Ah, now they're still. Even better. Gotcha! The enemy is going for our general. Protect him! Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I do. Not even mad. There we go. That's done it. And that's the end of the Danes. The Sails of the Moon. Cool name. Still dead. Hurroar. The last hurroar of the Danes. We lost one guy. Tragic. Sometimes that feels worse. <laughs> it feels like you failed that one guy. Uh, 
don't think there's anyone to on board. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Yep, Danes are dead. Great. It's always nice to take off a faction off the board. It's one less play you need to worry about. Especially when they were a really tough opponent. Uh, I feel like taking the Duna would be quite handy. This would also, Gothic Scanza would also be a fantastic reason to take, I think. Because it's a city. Makes it supremely defendable and a good base of operations to fight here. And as long as we've got a good navy, I think we should have no problem defending. And of course, we have to keep in mind that Angle, uh, Burgundians have Angulus, which is a trifle annoying. Um, oh, while well, we've got some spare cash, there's not really any building to do. Let's see if we can buy a few trade boots. Please be seated. I know it's not. I know it's a bit weird to spend money, more money to get a trade agreement than they're worth. But I find having the passive income very helpful. Maybe not the Lugians, because... Well, why not the Lugians? My why friend, be Nice. Um, to new kids? <laughs> okay, they're all with everyone. I don't think that'd be good for our public relations. To have a treaty with them. The Geats. Should we be a rude? Tongue that speaks without okay, I'm not too surprised they haven't said yes. No, we're more powerful than the Geats, actually. That's very interesting. I think taking their city was a fantastic um, stroke of luck. Ghoul? Ghoul? Not really. Um, Franks, perhaps? Greetings, friend. We will speak to... We will gladly listen to your offers. Yeah, it's a shame. Welcome, friend. Welcome. Okay, we'll time. We can get trade with this with your gems, which is quite cool. We'll give you Please. Billy no mates over here. Got a trade with these guys, and it helps us be nosy. We get a free little peek at their armies here. Um, yeah, it looks like they haven't got many buildings that give them good troops, which is uh, good to see. I always find it difficult to get agents in this game because, for example, if you wanted spies, you have to go to the market route, but that's not the route we want to go with right now. We need buildings that give us public order, like taverns, but they aren't the route. Those aren't the buildings that give us uh, agents. If we went with the warlords, hold, we'd be able to get champions. I could have done that, and maybe in the future we will turn to that. But I've, I, I don't regret going with the tavern. I'm quite happy with that. The others are quite cool buildings, though. Uh, we've got wolf coats unlocked. We can get chosen warriors and Nordic spear masters if we can get the next level. We really have to research royal household. So. Uh, right, not too much to do this turn either. We could do some recruiting. I don't see a massive need. It's just going to be a bit drain. So, yeah, I'll just them. As is. I feel like quite often the uh, Germanic tribes are just unfortunately not included. Uh, kind of have a ride or die attitude, they kind of stick together a lot. So if, it feels like if we go to war with one, we'll be going to war with a lot of them. So we're going to want to pick our moment carefully. Again, if the Huns could eat away at some of these guys, that would truly be great. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got a higher level stores, which means more sanitation and more food. And again, just like the uh, fishing jetties, stores, their food production is affected by fertility or anything like that. It makes a flat 50. That can't go down. So that's always good to have. And no, we can't actually do any more building. We're, we're teched. We're capped by the tech. Um, since we don't need much money either, I think what I might do... Try and encourage the growth rate a bit by reducing taxes and help boost public order, which also boosts uh, um, growth. I'd like to get this done quickly. If we get, as soon as we get this, we don't have to worry about growth anymore. We just need that last slot, and then growth is irrelevant. Oh, I'd love to be able to see what these guys are made of. What units they have. I feel like these guys are going to be allied with yeah, the Burgundians. Defensive alliance. Exactly the kind of thing they need. That's probably why they're at war with the uh, Hunters, actually. East German Acceptors going on a bit of a bender over there. It would be good to get this and get some gems. But then we'll be uh, next door with the Venedians. But then again, is that, is that so terrible? I suppose here, this is, this is like Hun land. <laughs> Over here, this is where they spawn. We don't want to be too far over here. That's just going into the belly of the beast. We are safe here. This is a nice perch to be sat on. But it just does mean... It always feels weird. It feels so unlike any other game. This game, you don't want to expand too quickly. That is the point. But because in the other games, you do want to just keep expanding, it always feels so unnatural and not right to just be... Static and not expanding. So I'm just sat here twiddling my thumbs. I feel like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm seeding the um, momentum and letting them build up. But you've got to remember that the Huns are out there and we don't want to go anywhere near them. And climate change is a coming. And time is on our side, in a way, now that we have Scansa. We have a home settlement, a home province now. A really secure, nice one, which is miles away from the Huns. It doesn't really get better than that. I think the only thing that would be safer is arguably Britannia. Yeah, but Britannia's a bit of a hot pot right now. So it's not in the Far East because um, the White Huns are there. And I think they're still alive. I, don't, I haven't seen them on the. Uh, I have, I, I, well, we'll keep an eye out for them. Ooh. Oh, pay off. Okay. Yeah, we're growing a bit faster. Public order shooting up a bit more. Be good to get it into the green again. It's winter now. Like the weather effects on this map. This does look cold and remote now. <laughs> He's out in the winter. It's getting a bit chilly. A good navy would really help with an attack on this place. Who are they? Want? The gibbets. Who are they? Are? I really want the Huns to eat away at this place here. And then maybe even wipe them out here. Oh, it looks like the Romans have lost. Oh, no. They've, they've still got 28 regions. That's not bad, you know. They're not going to last. They will die. But that's not bad. They've survived to see Attila born. <laughs> but anyway. So we're going to get this, which is going to help us. Oh, this would also give us champions, actually. This is good. If we can get Sacred King. Sacred King, there it is. You know. So that's a bit of a backdoor way to get champions. That's an interesting thought. Can they get markets? No. So we can't get spies, we can only get spies in cities. And I'm not too worried about priests right now. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get this. And that'll give us some good long ships, very nice. And some Nordic raiders. We place his Nordic brigands. But I don't think we can recruit those. No. Oh well. Oh, and 
down again. I think our reputation's recovered from our, to be honest, pretty harsh betrayal of the beats. <laughs> uh, I think we're no longer seen as untrustworthy. So we've gotten away with that now. The thing about the British Isles, it's actually, it, I always think it's such a tempting target, but when you think about it on this map, it's its really hard to actually take. <laughs> I think the only easy sea access is through Camelodon, but that's right near a bunch of other settlements, and you can easily get pushed out again. Ooh. Darkness gathers, and you can um, be the light for my people. I ask humbly for a treaty. Considering that we might want to go to war them, but we're not going to do it for a long time. Uh, yeah. In the short term, it makes total sense to do that. no longer Greco-Roman paganists, but they've embraced the ways of the local tribes and gone full Celtic. Good for them. Yeah, Roman separatists are all the Rome. Makes sense. Yeah. Now we've met Hispania. Oh, lovely to meet you. Can we trade? No. And I don't care to know you. Please accept us a most happy... Spiked. Okay, how about... Are these guys at war with anyone else? Because I'd hate for them to start nabbing land. Um, thing is, well, that's a town, I think. Yeah, that's the city. So, settling this wouldn't give us a nice fortified position. Quite the opposite. It'd be desolate. But it's not terrible. I feel like that's still quite a good idea. Call me crazy. We want to take it with a big staff to have a big settling bonus. We could send this army because we've, we've got good relations with these guys. Uh, let's get Sacred King next, by the way. I think we'll get this. And then maybe that. This one not doing much fighting. I'm not prioritizing military tech right now. So. It would be quite good. Can we get an unofficial pack of these guys? Greetings, friend. I've called for good air. Nice. Right, so we've got an unofficial pack of Um Which puts us in the good books of most of the area. Yeah, I think it could be a good idea to take Germano Samatia. It's just like I say, we will be boarding with um I'll see. I'm not going to commit to that just yet. Yeah, let's try and get this under control first. We're only on episode 4. We don't need to be, you know, steamrolling yet. Warriors all! Uh, what would the next level of this get? Drakkar Dragon Ship, Nordic Marauders. Um, they sound scary. Snicker Warship, or Dragon Ship, wasn't it? Dragon Ship, oh no. Frankish Marines. This is, they all look the same. Nordic orders, here we go. Yeah, these could be excellent ships to have. How many men do they have to a unit? It doesn't say it, I think. 
I imagine them fit a decent size. And really good units as well. So they'd be fantastic to actually go raiding with. Or invading with. Uh, yeah, because these guys aren't amazing. Oh, these, these are actually, yeah, these new longships we've got. They're good, but they're not, they haven't got amazing manpower. But they're certainly good warriors. Definitely. I think that's probably one of the strengths of our roster, actually. Good naval unit. I mean, most factions get artillery, but we have actually very nice uh, Malay ships. I don't think we could be too honourable in this game either. <laughs> it's a very unforgiving game. So I think if we are even even if we are considering attacking the Rugians and the Burgundians at some point way down the line, and that means breaking the non-aggression pact we've had with them, we should still take the non-aggression pact. Now in full where we have somewhat an intention to break it. We just can't be. This very night there will be quarrelling in the Great Hall as our nobles compete in the flighting. Do you wish to participate? If not, one of our generals is off to represent you. Ah, oh, well, I feel it's my duty as the High King to get involved. Oh, this is good. Look at this public order. Very nice indeed. Huns on. But I'm gonna, fair enough, they're not at their peak at the moment, the Huns. They get stronger, I think, when a tiller is born. But. Because, yeah, there's not too much desolate land at the moment. Venice is dead. But. And a couple of towns here, but I don't know if they start off desolate, you know. They might do. Uh, Welcome, friend. Come on. Oh well. Once I have timber, you'll be begging for trade. I think timber is actually a very useful resource for building, so you know, having it might actually make people tend to trade with us. But I suppose we want to be careful about who we give it to, because then that means the people who give it to will have access to high level buildings, if that's what they need. But we can't think too strategically like that really we can't help it because if they don't get it from us they'll very likely get it from somewhere else I think Britannia has some wood regions I think I've seen it in the corner of my eye I won't be surprised it's probably a fairly common resource Sometimes like this I get curious, I wonder how well like assassinates are doing, but you can't possibly tell at this <laughs> end of the map. Construct a building from the following chain town sanitation. Get a thousand pounds. So the reward is less than the money I'd spend building that thing. No. <laughs> what a stupid mission. Not doing that. Um ooh. Thirsty for battle. Good man. He's upgraded. Alright, we need to get your authority up, sir, because that's not good. Yep, and uh, oh, we need to <laughs> yeah, we need to get to that level first. There we go. He's got them coming though. He's got night battles. That's really helpful. Yeah, I might get rid of this guy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not all that convinced about the armor thing. Yeah, that could be good. We're out plus 15 against barbarian kingdoms. We're going to be fighting a lot of those. Let's do that. Okay, we've met the elements and we've met the moment separatists. Oh my. Elements are doing well.
devastated going down. Where's that? It says faction, but not much more than that. Faction minus two, is it? Is it the king? No. I don't know. Not too sure what's doing that. Uh, uh, yeah, look, wood. Right here. But then again, if they haven't built the buildings for it. Oh, they have. Okay. Yeah, simply owning the region doesn't give you the resource. You need to build the building that gives you the resource. Greetings to you. Thing is, I'll, we're getting higher in the Imperial rankings. But it doesn't feel like anyone else gets that. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, they've got a great power penalty of minus 20. Okay. Uh, well, that's another in turn. Pretty calm episode so far. But we did have a pretty manic couple when we were fighting the Danes. These end turns are getting longer and longer, aren't they? It makes you think if they're up to something. Uh, I did it. Did I? Did I do that? Hey, look at that. Giving a good account of himself, the king is proclaimed the victor and presented with a horn of mead, which he drinks in a single gulp. Truly a man to be respected. Oh, plus five public order bonus for three turns. Yes, please. Fifteen increase, basically. Um, trait gain smooth talker, plus ten influence for Garouf. Good man. Show him how it's done, son. Right. Yeah, public order is skyrocketing now. This is fantastic stuff. There's an awful lot more to do. Uh, like I said, I'd really like to see the Huns come and smack these guys up a bit, raise them down, and then we'll just move in and pick up the pieces. Or we could go miles away and just I would go attack the Warriors for no other reason other than it's funny. <laughs> uh, but then we'd be committing an awful lot of resources over here in case and we might need them here. So. Agents, can I get agents? No. Uh, what do our things? Be at war three factions. We've done that. Forge a defensive and military alliance with any faction. We did have that, the Geats. Lost that now. Luke the Aborakum. Endrum, can be loading them. It's easier said than done. We thank the of the following province, Scansa. Jordan, the Roman historian, spoke of Scansa, a great island in the Northern Sea. Its inhabitants were warlike and fearsome group, and mocks whom he counts the Geats, Danes, and Jutes. Well, we've done that one at least. I've got a whole Duna. Ooh, so they are telling us to go and take Duna. How long do we have? 420. We've got 18 years. There's plenty of time. It's getting more and more tempting, <laughs> since especially since we have not a version packs here. 
Um, do they actually like us, or is it? They do really like us. I don't think they're going to attack us. Okay, here's a gamble. I'm used to the old Total War games, uh, like Roman Masters, where <laughs> you right-click it and the window just appears. Uh, yeah, maybe some of these would be good. Yeah, one more of us. You can afford it now. And now I'll go sell this army over here. So if you have a bigger army, when you settle a region, you have more population, it encourages more growth. You get bigger growth injection, basically. That's something I learned. So I used to try and settle with just like a dinky boat. And <laughs> that didn't quite do it. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to learn that you needed a bigger army. You didn't need one, but you wanted a bigger army to do it with. So, so again. Yes. And there's a lot in this game that goes on, and not much of it is explained. You kind of have to figure it out. If we did take that settlement, it would give us gems. So as long as we can give it, so we have a town slot, um, sanitation slot, a farm slot. What I ask is such a little thing, an inconsequential thing, that I almost hesitate to mention the amount. <laughs> um, what's their reputation with the world? Pretty neutral. I can't help but feel like we actually should, should do that. Um, it's, it's no harm, it's only a little bit money. And it's good to just have good relations with uh, all the White Hounds, yeah, they're still alive, still going. Who knows, maybe that was stupid, uh, but. So if we're going to do this, we're going to go over there. Out of curiosity, what's the text? Uh, the later Varangian Nords were known for their trade with the Eastern Empires following their exploration of the Volga. However, land trade with Asia began when they reached the shores of the Sarmatian Sea at the mouth of the Duna River. I'm guessing that's the Duna River? Okay, well, a Viking we shall go. I do wonder if like the Rugians, not the Rugians, uh, the Burgundians smell blood in the water right now. But Hafen's quite well defended. Oh yeah, Nordic Raiders, get them in the garrisons. That's nice. Yeah, that's a good thing about the unit upgrades. They, you get the free units in the garrisons as well. Uh, and maybe a few more ships. We can't recruit the artillery ones, we need to be in this sea here. We need to be in the same sea region as the port. Uh, but we are we are friendly with the Bagandians. So we've got a chance it. And in a pinch, we can hire mugs. We have a bit of a war chest now from all our turns of sitting around. And they have to consider that, that the Huns are at their gates at all times. So, you know, do they want to be gallivanting up in the frigid climes of Scandal? We haven't actually seen the Huns yet. 
As far as we're concerned, they don't exist. <laughs> I don't believe in these rumours of riders and horse archers. <laughs> Sounds like made up nonsense to us. I also feel like it would be kind of fun to move to North Africa and set up a overseas colony or two there. Uh, Alright, Raider Planet. Raider set the Eastern Roman Empire in... Th I've got three turns. I've got three turns to go to the Eastern Roman Empire. All for a thousand pounds. Something tells me that's just not going to happen. Oh, it's a trade route. Oh, it's a big one. Um, Raider set on trade route. What's the nearest one? Still miles away. Who are the geese trading with? I'm curious. Hispania, somehow. Okay. Oh, the Moyans don't like us anymore. You are welcome, Orthoma. Alright. Looks like the goodwill we had from fighting the Western Roman Empire is starting to go now. That usually happens. Uh, yeah, we're not building anything now. We need to unlock. Yeah, once we get this, we can get the next chieftain building. Then we can research this to get our fishing wharfs up a bit. And that will unlock the next level of town. And then that would only be one turn research, about £10,000. Uh, and then another one. Oh no, we have to get these as well. What to do? Mind you, yeah, we're getting closer to the raw household one as well. That times quite well with us getting wood. Snicker, snicker. So we can. Yeah, if we're just patient. Oh, go off. The governor. Uh, yeah, authority's got. I think that. Yeah, that improves public order a bit. And. How about now? No, we'll go for two more public order. But I think we're over top of public order. Let's go for an over 10% more off in commercial buildings. Because I think you consider that our tavern for this oven is £1,000. And 20% of that is another 200 And we were on 10%, so there's another 100 from that building alone. I do feel a bit <laughs> precarious. The Burgundians, oh my goodness. All these tribes just hanging on the northern ridge of Europe there, just waiting to pounce on our homeland while our army's away exploring. But we've made our bed. Ooh, ooh, dead. And we have a son. I don't think they're going to be attempted to get into another alliance on this. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Maybe we should get an omnipotent fact first. Ooh, no. I'll offer you, sister. <sighs> a token, perhaps a modest gift of coin. Yeah, well. Would have. Greetings, my friend. And then that might pave the way for defensive alliance. I think that was eight thousand pounds level four. Oh, one thousand. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Yes. 
Okay, we can make it to the shore of here now. <laughs> well, we've met the Huns at least. They do exist. The rumours are true. Oof. Uh, nice one. That's going to be an extra 30 food, but we get herdmen and huskles and champions, an extra 200 to turn for money and free public order. I think that's a fair trade off. Okay, well, we'd be nuts to actually try and settle there right now. That's just scary. Um, I'll have the... I'll wait here <laughs> whilst we wait. Public order nearly full now. Fantastic stuff. I wish those Huns would go this way. Like, most of the Huns are down here at the moment. I haven't done much uh, raising for a raisy faction. Who knows here? What could we do? Waiting for a new course. Same thing, just that. Okay. folk singing in this game, it's very cool. It would be unusual for them to graze around this part of the map. Maybe we shouldn't be too nervous about it. Uh, I suppose it was right to be cautious while they were right there, but if they've gone south, maybe it wouldn't be too bad to still try and settle there. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, let's just get some of that. Oh, growth really does grow. It takes a while to get to the seven. <laughs> Get that building. Right, okay. For the try. Let's try it. Let's just hope this doesn't end in complete disaster. Your orders. So we've got the money, we've got a lot of peeps, and public order bonus. Nice. Right. Ready for Sweet. orders! Right, let's build the town. That would be a port. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. We've got this can be a fishing jesse. No. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Let's just hope they don't attack. And... Are they at war? Yeah, they might be trying to hunt down the Huns. I'm going to optimistically assume that's what they're doing. But they might come attack us. Yeah, this could be bad. Time will tell. What is this place in? It was mostly minor religions. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, we still have some governor as well. Oh. But who? Not you, you're Barish. You're former general. 
You want to attack her? You want to attack her? You want to just do this one? Alright, well, that one's jumping out at me. Uh, you're second. You're. You're second. Right, you can do it. You can do it. And you can issue a growth uh, thing. Please? Ready for battle. Right, Missy. I feel like we're about to get invaded by the Slavs, but. It's time to tell. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, it looks like they are just trying to hunt down the Huns. I got that. No, I got no problem. I got no problem with that. We live for battle. Hey, we dream whoa. of it. We relish it as others do a fat goose. And you look bluff. Could be fat. Can't believe it. All right, how serious a threat is that? Should we be worried? Could we buy peace? Because I don't really want war. I want to grow. And why are they declare war on us? Why are we such a threat? We're over in the frigid climes of the middle of nowhere. How are we a threat? Swabians. <laughs> Where did they settle? All the way down here. Alright, nothing to worry about there. Alamans. Yeah. They're not very well liked, must be said. Uh, Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed you. Oh dear. They really mean business. We've really offended them for something. But I'm not too sure what. Was it. Expansionist, culturally intolerant, hate royal empires. Mm. Seven regions as well. Big yikes. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's number seven? Oh, the Geats, they own Southern Gaul. How weird. Uh, oh, it's around here somewhere. Okay, so they're either going to attack through here. Do they have a military? They've got a non aggression pack, but I don't think a military access pack. How about the, the Gunnians? No. So they'll have to sail, and they have a navy. So. Ready for orders. It's not too bad. Uh. I'm not going to lose my head just yet. I think we're fine. It's a strange decision, yeah, it's an unexpected decision by the elements to come toward us. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure why. We must have done something. Um, maybe we made a trade agreement with a deep enemy of theirs, who knows. If anyone knows what likely did it, let me know, because I'd like to try and prevent that kind of thing from happening. So they, yeah, they don't want peace even, about, even with some money, so they're really, really after us.
faction emerged. Cool. Nice. No sign of the elements yet. That's good. I'd like to get another army here if I can. I suppose we do have the money. If we bought taxes up there again. Yeah, we have the growth right now. I think we'll be okay. Let's. Yeah, I think we need to be careful. I think we should just get another army ready. Relentless attacker, he looks pretty good. Um, check and two plus two. Oh, yeah, can't, can't turn that down. Oh, no, I don't want that. Uh, I want an army. Wooden men. And let's first give you some dogs because they're nice and cheap. Still no sign of the elements, that's good. But I feel a lot better if we had an army camped here in Jutland. It doesn't have to be a full stack, but as long as it's something to help defend a town, then I'll be happy. I'm going to exempt it. If we exempt it, it won't suffer food shortages. Uh, how do we do that? How do we exempt it from tanks? Um, how do we do it? There we go. Yeah. So if we exempt it from tanks, we don't have to worry about food for a bit. So I might upgrade it down because it gives it more of a garrison and gives a growth bonus. Okay, right, well, I'm going to the link for the episode now, guys, so I'm going to wind this one down. Uh, I think we're in a pretty good position. Oh, oh, that's actually quite good. The Venediums have just lost one of their settlements. That's really good for us. That makes us a bit more secure. Um, they've still got their major city. That's interesting. Uh, uh, in the meantime, yeah, we're going to fortify this just a little bit, keep us secure, and keep growing and developing and see if we can get some gems farmed in the not too distant future from Duna and get the timber from Scanza and see if we can make that into something of a, a leverage tool with trade agreements and privacy, so who knows. So, don't miss out of it guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.